Happy June, everybody. This is Mr. Gardner with our last installment for information for the big day, the Auburn High School class of 2022, your graduation, also known as the commencement ceremony. It will be held on Saturday, June 18th at 6 p.m. at Auburn Memorial Stadium. Seniors know or should know that they show up to the gym at 422, which is kind of an odd number. We have a lot of different times, a lot of different dates being thrown at our seniors at this time. 422 is an easy one for them to remember because they are the class of 22. We need you in the gym by 422. Make sure you have all of your stuff with you, meaning your caps, your robes, your tassels, all of your regalia, the shoes that you're going to wear. Try to dress comfortably and as nicely as you possibly can. The weather is supposed to be mid-60s. It's supposed to be overcast, so actually it's a perfect day to graduate if you got to sit there for an hour or so. The gates at the stadium are going to open at 5 p.m., and the purpose of this short slideshow is to give you some visuals so you can kind of see the approaches and where people are supposed to sit. And I don't know if this is really super essential that people have to watch this, but it does give some information for those that just like to have it ahead of time. Okay. We're gonna move along here. And we're gonna talk a little bit about tickets and seating. You gotta present your ticket when you enter. Tickets will be labeled with a home or west or visitor or east side. I wish I could tell you which it was, but as you probably know, by the time you're watching this, our ticketing came in a little bit late and I physically have not even looked at them yet. I just know they're in our activities office, they're being distributed. And it's gonna have one distinction, west, east, or home visitor, or perhaps both, okay? But it should be very very clearly labeled on your ticket. This informs our audience what side where they're gonna take their seating. Seniors, whoops, seniors will be seated accordingly to the tickets, and seniors, you're gonna to have to know what side your, your family's sitting on too, okay? So that families may be as close as possible to their seniors for those photo taking opportunities. We offer designated seating for the disabled on the track. Okay, we have a lot of that. So hopefully we have plenty for everybody. So this is just a visual, an aerial visual of Auburn High School's North parking lot, a little bit of the gym right there, and then Memorial Stadium. So you can see that's 4th Avenue Northeast, Bob Jones Way. That road will be closed during the ceremony, and I believe until 8 o'clock after the ceremony. Our ceremony should end around 7.15. So families afterwards, you're gonna be able to gather out there in the parking lot and about eight o'clock, they're gonna start opening that road back up. So just heads up on that. And again, there's a little notification with an arrow. Seniors are to be in the gym by 422. Okay, this is the ticketing gating areas. So if you get a ticket that has either home and or west, you go to the yellow gate right there. You can see that to the left. And if you get ticketing that shows visitor and or east, you go to the green side over there. There won't be any colors on those days. This is just to give you a little bit of visual depiction of what that should look like. Gates will not open until 5 p.m. You can certainly line up outside the gates sooner if you'd like to. Um, but just understand that I think the Riverside graduation, I know they start theirs at two. They should be cleared out by four. You probably don't want to show up any earlier than about 4.30. And if you're dropping off your senior at 422 or right about that time, if they're not driving themselves, um, that gives you an opportunity to definitely find parking. Can't guarantee it's always going to be in the north lot. And uh, that way you can make whatever adjustments you need. Okay. In terms of once you're in, here's where the seating areas. You can see on the right side, if you've entered through the visitor east side, you're going to sit in those stands. In front of those, we're gonna have chairs lined up in lanes, probably five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I know the families that sat in those last year really enjoyed the view, but we're really primarily using those for families with members that might have to use a walker, wheelchair, um, or if just you know walking up ramps and stairs are just too difficult. So just know that's a reserve for them. We'll have a staff member on both sides of the track, on the visitor side and on the west side, to help assist with that. We're also going to have seating ushers. I'm not gonna guarantee every family is gonna be able to have a seating usher, but for the most part, if you need a little bit of help getting to your spots, there's gonna be an Auburn staff member there to help you out. 
Okay, let me see the next thing. Okay, here's the general setup on the field. Um, you can see the green section in the middle field. That's where seniors are going to be seated. Same with the yellow section. And that's going to coincide with the tickets again. And we'll practice this with our students in our gymnasium and then also out on the football field. Okay, the next one shows you, um, I guess, on the track right there. It's okay. It's not the best depiction, but it kind of shows you where the disabled handicapped seating will be. It shows you where the seniors will be doing their cap toss at the very end of the ceremony. The blue or two uh, turquoise box is the stage and then kind of that purple lavender uh, magenta color box right there. That's the big screen that you're all going to be able to watch the kids. The green arrows that you see are going through the different gates, the main gates, the ticketing gates, and that's going to be the exit out the stadium. And seniors, after they do their cap toss, they'll have the longest walk back to the gates. And families are certainly most um, able just to wait for their seniors and just meet them out on the track and, and then just start making your way out of the stadium. Okay, next thing. I think that is the last thing. Um, once you're out, you pretty much are on your own. Your seniors will have been graduated. And just so you know this, um, seniors will receive uh, when they have their special moment on the stage, they will receive a graduation cover. The graduation diploma will not be in the cover. That's something they're going to be able to have mailed out to them after July 5th. So that will be coming in the mail. And if students have any school equipment or fines they need to pay on their accounts, we're going to ask that they come in and do that. And uh, I think that's it. That should kind of put a close on it. We do have some seniors that we have, um, we have loaner caps and gowns for those last minute seniors or for families that just need that extra support. And then we ask seniors to bring those in um, into the school during the summer. So next year's group could use those too. So anyway, I hope you found this informative. Uh, my name is Jeff Gardner. I'm excited for Saturday. I think it's gonna be a great day and it looks like the weather is gonna hold for us and uh, look forward to seeing you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.